I recently made a video covering WoW's current free trial in depth, and for the most part, everyone agreed that it was a pretty terrible new player experience. If you don't know much about WoW's free trial or just didn't know there was one, I personally think you should watch my other video first. But as a quick summary, you can play World of Warcraft for free up to level 20 with heavy restrictions on what you can interact with. After making that video, I thought about something I said about how the free trial used to be worthwhile because back in vanilla to maybe Cataclysm, leveling to 20 was actually a good amount of relevant gameplay. I actually used the 7 day free trial card that my cousin got for buying the Burning Crusade expansion and that got me hooked for 15 years. So trust me, having a good free trial works. Then, while I was thinking about how things used to be, a couple of you beautiful viewers messaged me and left comments on the video asking, well, what if Classic was made to be free to play? And it made me think, wait, is it finally time? I'm sure there have been plenty of moments in WoW's history where gamers have whispered amongst themselves, the game is dying, don't you think Blizzard should make it free to play? It's definitely never been the popular opinion in the past, but I'm sure I've heard it before. In the past, this statement never really held much weight. The almighty WoW, king of the MMORPGs, would never lower itself to the status of free-to-play. Back in the early days of MMOs, there was a lot of negativity around the term free-to-play. Free-to-play games flooded the market, but were commonly seen as lower quality and a devious ploy to get people to the cash shop. And of course, World of Warcraft players would never think of their game that way. The negative stigma around free-to-play is still alive today, but it just so happens that free-to-play game devs have figured out that they stand to make much more money if the game is actually good, even if the monetization is somewhat predatory. These days, some of the most popular games of all time are free-to-play. Genshin Impact, Fortnite, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Apex Legends, Path of Exile, Overwatch, Destiny, Warframe, Diablo, Mortal, Lost Ark, Neverwinter. These games are all free to play and instead contain different microtransactions to varying degrees of success, some amounting to revenue in the millions. No longer are free to play games seen as the shitty money grab, even though some games definitely still are. Now they can rival and outshine the best of paid gaming in both quality and revenue. But I guarantee you that the stigma is still there. Now here's the problem we face today. World of Warcraft is no longer the titan it used to be. The dedicated player base that pushed the game to terrifying heights back in 2008 are now 15 years older. We're in a different part of our lives, have more responsibilities, and some of us have left the game to live normal, boring, adult lives. The point I'm trying to make is that World of Warcraft is starting to show the age of its player base, not to mention how many people have left over the years due to the decreasing popularity of the actual gameplay. We have no way to see subscriber counts, that is true. But no matter what the numbers are now, eventually it will drop if Blizzard doesn't focus on allowing new players to join and enjoy the game. Wait, you know what got a bunch of people back into WoW? It wasn't that long ago, I'm sure you'll remember. The launch of Classic. In a time where the game was getting some terrible feedback on the Battle for Azeroth expansion, they launched World of Warcraft Classic and broke records. A journey back in time to the way things used to be, the charm of a true MMORPG, all its flaws extremely apparent but loving the experience in spite of them. This was a gaming phenomenon and it led to some of the best personal memories I've had with the game and the best content creators I've had the pleasure of watching. At the time, everyone knew what Classic was going to be, nostalgia. But what I don't think a lot of people expected, least of all Blizzard, was that Classic was going to thrive and continue thriving until once again, the game hit another popularity spike three years later for the release of Wrath of the Lich King. So now we get back to the topic at hand. World of Warcraft needs a good free trial. The current one is disappointing to say the least, and the amount of money needed as an upfront cost to even try the game in a serious way is astronomical. Well, it's about 65 bucks, but that's just to get into the club, not to ride the best attractions. And here we are, Blizzard has been gifted this golden opportunity to try something new with their free trial. Retail's in a good place with Dragonflight, Classic with Wrath of the Lich King. Then you have these other two modes called Classic Era and Season of Mastery. Which of these would be best suited for a free trial? Retail already has a free trial and it's ass, so not retail. Wrath of the Lich King Classic doesn't have a free trial, but the game is kind of at a point where the player base is very performance oriented, and introducing a worthwhile free trial might create unnecessary problems in a very critical and isolated community. Either that or the free trial will have to be as restricted as the retail version, which wouldn't give nearly enough of an idea of where the fun with the game comes from. Season of Mastery is a fucking enigma, God only knows what Blizzard plans to do with it, so then the obvious choice is Classic Era Realms. Why? Because Classic Era Realms have a low population of dedicated players looking to relive a very specific moment in their gaming history. 
It's a game that has been solved and resolved a million times over, launched three separate times with Vanilla Classic and Season of Mastery, and yet still has players coming back to experience it. There must be something special there, and even though it may not be indicative of any other experience that a paid player could have, it's still the very base game on which everything, including the years of mainstream hype, was built. It's like going back and playing the first Uncharted and thinking, man, this game has a lot of weird quirks that were common with game design at the time, but it's still so good and I can't wait to play the rest of the games and see how they modernized it over time. It's not just free trial players that would be better off, classic era realms would benefit from a free trial as well. Imagine a new influx of players into a game that would otherwise be stagnant forever. A constant flow of people coming in and out just trying the game. The ones who are dedicated enough to stick around will have all the raids open to try out. And the ones who are just hopping in every so often will have a low level character that can join other free trial players in low difficulty classic leveling dungeons. It could take months for a free to play new player to reach level 60 in classic without even trying to raid, and classic raids are so much easier, so if a free trial player wants to try out a raid, any guild would have a much easier time helping them learn it. Most gamers these days know how to not stand in fire, at least we hope so, but maybe that's wishful thinking. Either way, classic era realms need people to make up the world and to let the players who enjoy it experience all the content. Yes, the overall skill of the player base might be a little lower because there will be a lot of newer casual players, but hey, that's kind of how it was back in the day, right? Content wasn't really that hard, our knowledge of the game and skill levels were just so much lower. And then you can attract another type of player, the forever free-to-play player. The ones who just want a hit of nostalgia every so often, come back to run a few dungeons, do a few quests, and hang out with some old friends. The ones that want their new friends to experience the love of the game they had when they were younger, but don't want to force those friends to pay 65 bucks each. Free to play players are not a bad thing, especially when a percentage of those players will transition into paid players to try out classic or retail, and these days I'm sure almost everyone plays some game as a free to play player. The other reason classic era is the best option is because of its simplicity. Compared to the other versions of WoW, Classic is the easiest to understand. There's not too many complicated abilities or stats or weird mechanics that you need to understand. Talent points are given per level and you can generally get by without optimization unless you really want to try and perform the top percent of players. Ability damage calculations are much simpler because there are just less factors affecting your output. You don't need add-ons to play the game correctly, you just play, enjoy, adventure, learn as you go and fail with others. Bring friends or make them along the way because everyone is just playing a simple, fun adventure. Nothing crazy complicated. Just to look at this from a business sense, I can't imagine this would be too much of an extra cost on Blizzard's side. You're already paying for the server space to house Classic Era, and the content is already released. There's no expectation that there will be new content here, that's what the other game modes are for. So in my mind, the only main costs would be customer support and server space for more characters. As far as giving something for free that's currently paid, I'm assuming that it's not a large portion of players who want to pay for a subscription just for a classic era character. Most likely they would either play Wrath Classic or Retail and go back to Classic Era to try something very specific and get that hit of old content. How many subscriptions would Blizzard really lose if Classic Era was repurposed in this way? I would venture to say not many, especially if you give players both options. Classic Era free-to-play servers can be their own thing. Leave the most popular Classic Era servers the way they are and repurpose the others for free-to-play. If the free-to-play realms start popping off, then others will join and realize they can still enjoy Classic Era with these new free-to-play players. If the free-to-play realms become a cesspool of the worst World of Warcraft has to offer, then the Classic players can still have their little part of the server capacity. So what would be the downside of introducing a free-to-play Classic Era realm? Well, botting of course. Without a barrier to entry, I'm sure plenty of people will be creating bots and messing with the economy to try and make a pretty penny on gold selling. But this is kind of already a problem, and if Blizzard were to ever try tactics to get rid of bots and not mess with the main games, maybe this is the place to do it. Though I think that having a free to play game removes a bit of the incentive to pay for WoW Gold. There's no sub fee, so there's less of an emphasis on time sensitive content. Not to say that there won't be botting and gold selling, just that the main reason people buy gold in retail is to bypass the grind of gold making since it's very time consuming. But if you don't have any rush because you're playing for free and can play for as long as you want, then you can make gold the old fashioned way. I also personally think that the main market for people who want to buy gold would be a bit more dedicated and might be paying for WoW anyway. But I don't have any way to prove that right or wrong, so we would just have to see. The only other problem I could think of off the top of my head is that making classic era free to play would force Season of Mastery to do something drastic to get any sort of attention. 
This isn't really our problem as players, it's more of a problem for Blizzard. This was kind of the issue with Season of Mastery in the first place. Classic had already been done before, and Classic Era was still around. Season of Mastery just didn't do anything innovative, so most people lost interest. If Blizzard make Classic free to play, Season of Mastery will have to be something pretty special to distinguish itself and fulfill its own niche in the World of Warcraft game modes. I can't really think of any other downsides to making Classic Era free to play. Let me know in the comments if you think of one. There are a lot of speculative what ifs, like what would the players break if they don't have to pay for the game? How much trolling would happen if when you get a ban you can just create another free to play account? I think it would be a great learning experience for Blizzard in a way that wouldn't affect the experience of retail or classic players, and they can leave Season of Mastery for whatever they're going to do with it. They would just have to make sure that they implement it as player friendly as possible. In my opinion, the major things would be to open up all classic era realms for free to play, except maybe one or two, and focus on reducing botting as much as possible. Classic may not be the perfect game. In fact, there are a lot of things in classic that I can't fucking stand. But what no one can deny is that there is something about this version of the game that keeps bringing people back. For Blizzard, it's like releasing a greatest hits album. And for players, it's playing within the history of the game, going back to where it all started getting hands-on experience with the version of the World of Warcraft that got so popular Mr. T, Vern Troyer, and William Shatner were brought in to do commercials. It's definitely not perfect, and when gamers today try it out, they will definitely see those flaws. And that's kind of what you want. Because then you say, well, Blizzard fixed it in this expansion, so if you want to play a modern version of this same game, make sure to sub to get access to Wrath Classic and Dragonflight. I will admit though, this is just one WoW nerd's opinion. There are obviously things that I don't understand about WoW's player numbers, Blizzard's business model, or what they may have planned for the future. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section though. But most importantly, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe for more content. I hope you enjoy all the free to play games or games that have better free trials in World of Warcraft, and I can't wait to see what we talk about next.